Okay, so in this video, I want to discuss about internet anonymity, but I also want to discuss about uh, the difference between what is privacy, what is internet anonymity, and what is being ghost online. So first of all, what is privacy? We all know that. So privacy is basically that this is my data and I want uh, write on it. So do not share my data without my consent. So if I'm using some platform, then, you know, platform shouldn't spookingly just get my data. Basically, it's a data related thing. We all know about it. But what is the difference between privacy and Internet anonymity? So the idea of Internet anonymity is that you do not show yourself. You do not show your personal information. And many people who watch my channel uh, choose to be anonymous on Internet. So I get messages all the time where people do not show their faces. All the accounts are disposable accounts and uh, even some like few days later those accounts get deleted so no matter what platform it is and these people usually just create account for purpose and just delete it and these accounts doesn't really matter they never show their you know personal info they never show share their real information it's just fake accounts okay and the thing of fake accounts i don't believe in it i believe that a person should always be anonymous on the internet what happened is that uh, when internet got created we all were supposed to be anonymous we shouldn't like uh, this was something which is like a basic rule but after some time i don't know what happened maybe internet web 2.0 or things got highly corporate or people suddenly start being comfortable showing their photos online their face online and this become a thing in fact things reach to a point today that people believe that showing themselves is a thing like it they have to do it even if they don't want to it's mandatory because if you don't have a nice linkedin profile or if you don't have a nice you know instagram profile or any you know uh, normie social media like twitter then nobody is going to know you and you're going to have a hard time on being social or you know just uh, getting a job or because basically uh, people are going to judge you on the basis of your online presence so if you don't show yourself on the internet then basically they are they're going to see you as a, like in a really sus way okay like who is this guy all right so they're not going to trust you but if you have a nice social profile if you got like followers on instagram and if you got uh some, if you just show your face online and people are going to trust you on the internet now the first thing is do not trust people on the internet this is the most stupid thing which one can do never share your personal information uh, with anybody now you might say you do it okay but don't talk to me about this i mean i spend i i know the amount of time i spend being anonymous on the internet i never used internet uh, this is like 2023 is the first time when i started using it now i know this is not a good explanation but the thing is you have to choose whether you want to be anonymous or not all right and it's a hard choice believe me or not in today's world it's a really hard choice because if you choose a hacker culture if you choose to be anonymous 100 percent then the problem is how you're going to uh you know just be a part of the society like a normal society which is not normal society so it's basically like it's a fucked up situation right like how you're going to get a normal job so it's it's basically a question of whether you want freedom within the world or from the world okay so y you all know like how hard it is to go 100 percent false but it's a great thing but we all know similarly this is really hard to become like 100 percent anonymous on the internet if you try to do it let me tell you what is going to happen because i did it uh, in past in my life and this is literally 100 percent true experience which i felt and i'm going to tell you okay so what happened is i uh, did my school so in my school there were a lot of friends i uh, and i was a part of a group at that time i was pretty normal but i didn't had any internet like phones or things like this so i never had accounts on facebook or any other social media but what happened is uh, when the school ends, all my friends were connected through social media and they kind of forget me because I had no online presence. I never created any social media account. I never liked it. I never liked people who were using it. So, and you all know my, like I started using Linux and I 
I, I was an idiot. I thought like, oh my God, this thing is so cool. This, I, I, I was in love with computers, which is so weird. And now I realize it. I feel like, oh man, that was really weird. It is as weird as falling in love with social media or doing anything at extreme. So I was not using any social media. And this is why I lost touch with a lot of my friends. And I was not able to see them and they were all using social media. And now you might say, okay, they were not your true friends because you can, you know, do calls, you can meet. But the thing is, it's hard. Now, this is what I used to think, like social media uh, become a necessary thing for you being connected. But then I had a conversation with one person who chose to be anonymous and he's one of my friends actually. And uh, I know him in real life. So he's kind of like a ghost, okay, online ghost. So he doesn't re just reject showing himself on the internet. In fact, I wanted to do a podcast with him, but he rejected because anonymity. So the thing is like, he doesn't reject showing himself online. He just, you know, loathe. He just don't like connecting people online. So he's basically, so I, I tried to had a debate where I was, I, my inner self was with him. I was agreeing with him, but I was still trying to, you know, ask few questions. So I asked him that, okay, so if you use something like Instagram, it's a, basically a broadcasting channel for you, right? Like you can just, um, it's, it's like a mailing list, not really obviously, but it's kind of like we can simplify it in a way. Okay. So it's like a group chat. You can just uh, send, uh, your photos to, you know, multiple peoples. Now, the thing is what he said is uh, on an average, how many friends you can handle? It's uh, more than five or six. Okay. Do you really care about these people? Why you want to show yourself to them? And we all know like uh, social media is basically, it's, it's a war of creating mind spaces like we, so if you follow someone, but that guy doesn't follow you. So basically, uh, he, his, um, his personality is going to, you know, be a part of your mind space, but your personality is not going to be a part of his mind space. Okay. So he's not going to give a shit about you, but you're going to give sh a shit about him, which is basically, uh, like you're a stupid person. Yeah. Right. So, uh, it depends. Like you might like that guy and this is why you follow him, but whatever. Okay. So what I'm trying to say, he gave me some arguments. So I'm like, okay, so if I put like uh, normie stories on Instagram, then people are easily going to know like where I am. So uh, my friends will know. So it's, it's a good thing. But then he made this point. No, it's not a good thing because then you won't have anything to talk about. So what he used to do is he used to call his friends, which he believe are important. And every month, like he just do one or three calls and like one call in a month or two, three calls doesn't matter. So he talk one to one, but he don't like taking participate in groups. He don't like discord servers. He don't like uh, anything. So he just uh, enjoy learning. He is that kind of person. Okay. So he don't enjoy uh, getting in touch with people online. He, he hate this. And this is kind of like, he, he made sense to me. Being ghost online is basically the idea that you, it's basically becoming a boomer. You reject uh, communicating people online and you, you know, internet, but uh, when you go on it, it's basically, you don't have any identity, nobody know about you and you just talk with people one-to-one -one anonymously. All right. So, so there are two things and you have to choose. This is the moment, right? One, you have, you can choose like being a normal person because the thing is, if you choose to be anonymous, if you, so some people think, oh, all right, this is, this is like, it's like kind of like Luke's with mindset. Like if you just leave social media then you're going to get, have a like great social life, which can happen. But the thing is the reality, which I felt in my life is if you leave social media, you're going to become a weirdo and uh, basically nobody is going to know you. And this is basically like society sucks, right? So I want to make one another video on this. And it's the, it's an idea which I always think about. It's basically like, um, uh, do you, if you choose to be collective in an individualistic society, you are going to have a hard time. 
and if you are if you choose to be a individualistic in a collective society then uh, th th this is also a problem so it's kind of like that if you choose to reject social media in an era where everybody is connecting uh, on social media then you are just going to see people who are all time just you know wasting their like you're going to go in front of someone and try to connect with him and he's like dude you're such a fucking weird you're just coming to me and talking to me while i am on instagram right now you can see i'm i'm using my phone you can just text me so this is what going to happen and this happened with me all right i i started calling my friends and they're like this is this is a weird thing people don't want to talk they just want to stop and this is what instagram is okay so yeah that that was my rant so there are three things privacy internet anonymity and i believe like if you choose being anonymous or being ghost it's really good thing to do but it's a really hard thing to do just like false okay so what i do in my life is just my business so i don't want any comments on that but i want best for you so one good thing also happened with the internet anonymity which i had at that time so we also have to think about the differences in the time zone so i was quite young i was learning and those skills are yeah i wasted a little bit amount of my life like and uh, doing overdoing things uh, on computer so what i should have done is just open computer learn whatever i want to learn and close my computer instead of getting internet addict and wasting my time on some other things so and you know trying to talk to just find good friends like who actually care in real world so instead of it i i you know overdid things and i wasted a lot of my time on the internet so what you can do is just you know use your computer just open it do your work close it and live in real world make skills and do not your social media and yeah so it's a, it's a good thing it's a, if you do it properly it's a good thing so i i'm like i i started like uh, hitting all the extremes like i don't like 4chan i believe 4chan is for weirdos i i don't like uh, instagram and i i kind of hate like everything but it's basically about so you have to make a linkedin to get a job and it's like i don't know so sometimes uh, i also find it hard to live in this society